Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to modify the theme of NetBeans 12.4 and to use a dark theme. Also, I will show you how to install the Darkula theme and to use it with NetBeans. So, this is NetBeans, it is actually using a light theme. To modify this theme, we have to go to Tools, then Options, then we have to go to Appearance, then Look and Feel, and here we have the list of available themes. So the first themes are light themes and the three last themes are dark themes. So let's select this dark theme and as you can see if we want to use it we need to restart NetBeans. So let's click on OK and let's restart NetBeans. Now NetBeans is using this dark theme and this is the appearance of the IDE. We can also take a look on the appearance of the editor. So this is the editor and it is also using this dark theme. So if you like this theme, you can use it. Otherwise, you can use the default light theme. So let's modify the theme and let's use the default theme. That's why we go to tools, then options, then appearance look and feel and here let's select the default light theme which is windows of course we need to restart netbeans now netbeans is using this light theme which is the default theme now let's take a look on the theme of the editor and as you can see the editor is still using the dark Theme. So to modify the theme of this editor, we have to go to Tools, then Options, then we have to go to Fonts and Colors, and in this profile list, we have to select NetBeans, which is the default light theme, then OK. And now the editor is using the default light theme. Now let's move to the next part of this video and let's install the Darkula theme and then let's install it with NetBeans. So let's go to the uh, navigator and here I will type NetBeans Darkula plugin. And in this list of results, if I scroll down, I obtain this link which is the website of NetBeans plugins.netbeans.org so let's open it and as you can see it is not working so I will provide you with the link that allows you to download the plugin and this link you will find it in the description of this video so let's open this link Then let's click on this button to download the plugin. I will save this plugin on the desktop. Now let's go back to NetBeans. And here let's go to Tools, then Plugins. Then let's go to Download it. And here I have to add the plugin. So let's provide the location of this plugin. And it is on my desktop. So let's click on Open. And of course, this box should be checked. Then we have to click on install. Then let's click on next. We have to accept the terms of the license, then install, then continue. Then we need to restart NetBeans. So let's click on finish. So as you can see, NetBeans is still using the default light theme. That's why I need to go to Tools, then Options, then Appearance, then Look and Feel. And here in this list, I will select the Darkula theme that I have installed. Also, I have to go to Font and Colors to modify the theme of the editor. So let's select Darkula and then let's click OK course I need to restart NetBeans so let's restart it now NetBeans is using the Darkula theme so let's take a look on the theme of the editor 
and as you can see the editor is also using the Dracula theme so this is all for this video I hope it is useful for you please subscribe to the channel